today will be performing transformations of lines. We'll be using the parent graph y equals x, and we'll be doing translations and reflections. So here's y equals x. It's a line that goes through the origin and has a slope of 1. So it's really y equals 1x plus 0, but when we simplify that, we just call it y equals x. The first transformation we'll be performing is a translation. So here you can see we have the parent graph y equals x, and then we performed a translation. We slid the line up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we had a shift up. of five units. So our new equation, our new line is y equals x plus five. So as you can see, this translation only changed our y value. Our slope stayed the same. Here we have a translation. And here we started with the paragraph y equals x, and then we went down one, two, three, four, five, six units. So we had a shift down of six units. So we started with the line y equals x, and then we shifted it down six. So y equals x minus six. So again, whether we shifted the line up or down, the only thing that changed was the y-intercept. Another type of transformation is a reflection. And when you reflect an object, you need to reflect it over something. So you need to reflect it over a line. So we could choose any line on this graph to reflect over, but we're just going to stick today with the y-axis and the x-axis. So we're going to first start by doing a reflection over the y-axis of the line y equals x. So here's our line, y equals x, and we're going to be reflecting it over the y-axis. So let's visualize what that would look like here. <clears throat> if I were to reflect this portion of the line over the y-axis, it would go over this way. And if I were to reflect this portion of the line over the y-axis, it would go that way. So this is what I'd end up with. <clears throat> What I would end up with is y equals of a negative slope going through the origin, negative x. So when I reflect over the y-axis, I just changed the slope. I took the opposite slope, and that will reflect the line over the y-axis. Let's look at another example. y equals x plus 3. So again, let's visualize that. <clears throat> Here's our y-axis, and we're going to reflect over it. So this portion of the line would go that way, and this portion of the line would go that way. So this is what it would look like. So, again, the only thing that changed was my, the sign of my slope. I started with y equals x plus 3, and now I have y equals negative x plus 3. So again, opposite slope. So the only thing that changes with the reflection over the y-axis is the slope. And our final transformation today is a reflection over the x-axis. So here we have the parent graph y equals x, and here's the x-axis. And when I go to visualize that, like I did before, well, this part, this part would be reflected here, and this would be reflected there, and I'd end up again with y equals negative x, which I did with the <clears throat> y-axis, but that's really not a good example for me to get a rule out of. So let's look at another graph so we can really get a rule for the y, for the x-axis. So here we have the equation y equals x plus 3, and we want to reflect it over the x-axis. So let's visualize what, would do that, that, what that would do to the line. So this portion of the line would go that way, and this portion of the line would go that way. 
so our first line would be x plus 3. Well, when we reflect it over the x-axis, the slope changed and the y-intercept changed. So instead of having y equals x plus 3, we have y equals negative x minus 3. So when we reflect over the x-axis, both the slope and the y-intercept change. So let's um, re recap what we've looked at today. We first performed translations. We shifted the line up or down. And when you do a translation, the only thing that changes is the y-intercept. We reflected over the y-axis. And when you reflect over the y-axis, the only thing that changes is the slope. And we reflected over the x-axis. And when you reflect over the x-axis, both things change. You have an opposite slope and an opposite y-intercept.